Hey everyone! Today the Mirror Game Jam is going to begin. I know a lot of you are probably going to be asleep when I upload this due to the different time zones. If you're in, say, America, London, if you're in Germany and all that, so you'll probably see this video later. But I have a few things I wanted to discuss in this video, especially about the theme and teams, because I forgot to include one really important resource yesterday. And what I also wanted to do was go through a few of the topics in the community page. It's been great seeing everyone post, uh, find teammates, and share information with each other. It's been really great. And in the rules for the jam, I've seen a few posts which I wanted to address in the video because other people might have these questions. So, first of all, uh, can I import animation from Mixamo? So really quickly, just about that, I do want everyone to create the art and the programming by themselves. I don't want anyone to use anything like from Mixamo, but you can use tools. What I mean by that is you can use things like Shaderforge, you can use things like, uh, uh, what's the out of the system? Visual scripting, a uh, playmaker. You can use things like playmaker. You can use tools within game engines. I just don't want anyone to import like massive things, which is what would have taken like, for example, animation. Uh, if you have a character, make the animations unique to that character. Don't just chuck and mix them. You want to have something you're proud of to show off. Uh, don't use some default animations. Make your own animations. In terms of the theme and interpreting it. Make it unique to you. Don't worry too much about voting. Uh, it's not really that important. If people have an amazing game, I'm going to play most of them and I'm going to be looking through them all. So yes, obviously the most rated ones would be in a spotlight video, but I'm going to look for any of those hidden gems. So don't worry too much about ratings. Interpret the theme as you would. Make it unique to you and your team and just have fun with it. Don't worry too much about all this voting and competition stuff. Uh, audio is okay from other places. Uh, it's perfectly fine. I actually discussed it in my previous video about open game art having audio. And in terms of teaming up, yes, you can team up with as many people as you like, but there is a problem with that. And I want to show you that now. So if you're in a team of, say, new developers, you might not be aware of things like Source Tree and GitHub. These are places where you can collaborate with a team because you have a repository online. And what that means is, say I work on a map and someone's working on scripts and someone else is working on another map. I can push all of my changes to that project and then everyone can merge their changes into the same project and then we can all pull and download the same project, meaning instead of someone changing something and then uploading it on the drive and someone combines the project manually and it's a big mess and everyone's uploading and downloading, you just use it through a client and it's got a built-in system for branches merging and all that stuff. I highly recommend teams. If you have a team of even two and like you're both working on the project, use a repository, use something like source tree or GitHub. It's going to save a lot of headaches. I highly recommend this. And this is one of the massive things I left out. And I would also recommend appoint someone in the team that you all trust to really take care of this stuff. Um, use something like Slack, use something like Hack and Plan, Asana, Trello, use something to manage everyone's uh, tasks. So no one uh, oversteps on each other's work. So say you don't have a Slack or a sauna or whatever set up and you decide to do the FPS controller, but someone else already did it, you, no, you don't really have a way of knowing. And that's why also a repository is good as well, because you can type a message about what work you did and people can see that and pull it. So repository and use, use some type of um, management software like Trello, Asana, all those things. And you do not have to record anything. I don't think I mentioned that. I will actually play the games, record them, and discuss stuff about them. So don't worry about recording. And one other thing I really wanted to mention about the theme is that with the theme, incorporate it into the main mechanic of the game. And the reason why I'm saying that is uh, Daniel Linson, I believe, is how you pronounce his name. Uh, Linson, yep. He's made a bunch of really amazing Game Jam games. And this game here, uh, Window Frame, it, its main mechanic is all built around the theme of the jam. So if you see here, he's 
shooting these arrows into the screen and its limitations. And this creative mechanic came from the limitation of the Game Jam theme. So what I'd recommend, and what I've seen, some of the best Game Jam games I've experienced, played, and some of the best Game Jam games that have won competitions, they've really interpreted the the theme in their own way, and they've built the core of the game to support the theme. So build the core of the game, the core mechanics around the theme. That's what I would recommend. Uh, and don't worry too much about the play length. Uh, whatever, how much time you need to communicate your game and your mechanics, that's the amount of time the game should go for, and the amount of time you have for level design and stuff. So no, don't worry too much about the game length. And this is one other important thing. I'm going to post a topic and sticky it so people can post their progress over time. And what I hopefully plan on doing is every week, I will do a mini spotlight where I go through the post and I, I just go through what people are doing. That way everyone can get a bit of equal exposure on their work. And for people who may not have time to go on the, t the community and they have time to watch my video on the side whilst they're working on the game, that way you can get all the information about uh, what people are working on week to week. So yeah, I think this is a great idea, Hyperthermal. And yeah, we're going to, I'm going to make a post right after I make this video. And I will try and do that weekly mini spotlight so that everyone can get some exposure on their work and I can make a few comments here and there. So it should be really good. And that's about it. So I hope you're all excited for this jam. I know I am. It's going to start really soon. Um, I am entering as well. I have a team, which I wasn't expecting to. So this is really great. It's going to be really nice to work with some other people. And I hope you all have a great time, as I mentioned before. Let's go make some games. And I'll see you on the community page. And I will be making another video this week. So I'll see you in the next video.